Hello I'm Proclamation, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be discussing the Reaper MIDI editor. Um, I found something that I think could be useful when it comes to editing multiple MIDI within a one MIDI editor. Um, I have it set for MIDI editor per project. I can still bring up each MIDI piece separately. But then there's going to be times in which you're going to want to have, say, two or three MIDI items, you know, shown together. And then, like, say, like, the yellow could be chords and the green could be another synth. Say you got two synths and you're trying to make sure that they're in key, which is always an important thing there. Um, you can look in, at your notes and, and see, or maybe there's playing a note at the same time and that's going to clash especially if they're in the same frequency range. You might want to take one note out of one and let the other one play and breathe, depending on what you want as your main synth. And the other one would be considered, you know, secondary in the background, complementing the other synth. But to get this set up, you have to deal with what's called... Um, track list and this button here on the far left up on top right below file um, that icon turns up the, this list usually when the list is on and try to get all of them together here you got this circle right there and then so when you bring up other tracks it either doesn't show it or they come up like black for some reason, usually they do come up black for me. Let's see. Let's see if I can... Oh, there we go. Right here next to the color, there's... I don't know what that icon on. It's like an arrow pointing down. It will show the other ones in black. That doesn't really do you much good, to be honest. At least not to me. Um, which each of them colored, you can see what you're looking at. So let me get... Let me get the colors back. So if you highlight all of them... Or you can highlight the tracks again. You'll get them all back. Just remember that at the track list, you got those round. It's like a circle, you know. It's like a stop thing. And if those things aren't marked, they will show up in color. You just got to highlight all of them in the track list. And you can actually just turn off the track list so you got more to look at. And we can stretch that up to there. And it's just, I think for editing, it would work out better. If you have two synths and you're trying to get them in key or they're clashing, they're playing at the same time. Now, to get this working, you basically have to go into your options to MIDI editor. And then it's like active MIDI item file selection change and arrange view. I kind of debate with that because as you spread out your MIDI, then when you leave your MIDI editor, then your range view is kind of like widening out. Um, MIDI item selection is linked to visibility, selection linked to editability. Right here, it makes secondary item editable by default is grayed out. These two here will bring it up, but you want that check and then those two checked. And then you, you just want to make apply. And the reason why is I can go into like this one here and move it. Now the red color, I kind of screwed up. When you do it, you're not going to see that red color because I did something where um, I think I did it in the MIDI editor or I did it in the action list. And I think it was uh, had to do with the Theme. Here it is. Um, use theme color uh, for selected, I think, note body when coloring. I don't know if it's coloring track. It's one of these. Don't do it. Don't, you know, I, I don't really care for the red. Another thing you have to do is come down to here on color where it says track. Don't put on channel. I tried to color by channel. I saw someone that had it, uh, though their colors weren't all that great. Um, do it by track. It's just easy. You know, usually my tracks are colored for synths and drums and bass and guitar and voice. And it's just easy that way. And then over here, it's sample in all channels. I can move 
anything from all these other ones where usually you can't. You can only move the one that that you got highlighted. I was going to show this in Windows 11, but Windows 11 has given me a lot of problems. And that will be my next video. What I think. It won't be nice. It won't be nice at all. But if you're in Reaper, give it a try. Um, if you're working on different synth and stuff, you might be able to see where things are clashing. Just by looking where the notes are. I mean, these MIDI patterns are just thrown in. They're not representing anything. They're not really representing any audio. Um, I do have something going there, but I don't remember what the piece was. I did this on the 23rd, I think. Now it's the 30th, so it's been a long week. So that's my video, and I hope it works for you. Let me know if you have any problems, and I'll see you on the next video.